Welcome everybody, this is Christopher speaking and today we're going to be looking at easily confused words. In the English language there are many words that can be difficult because they either sound the same but have a slightly different spelling but the, diff but the meaning is very different and they can also seem international they can be used in other languages but have different meanings in English. Let's have a look at some of the words that students have difficulty with in exams. So we're going to start with advise and advice. To advise is a verb that means to offer an opinion or counsel. For example, a, a person advises others and receives advice. The first example is I advise you to stop drinking. This means I give my opinion that you should stop drinking. People advise me to stop smoking. Advice is a noun that refers to the information you receive when someone advises you. For example, he needs your advice. Please call him as soon as possible. Or, my father gave me some very good advice about women. Also, I don't like people. To give me I don't like people to give me advice about anything. Next we have accept and accept. For example, accept is a verb that means to receive with approval. You say yes or to agree with. For example, I accept your offer or I didn't accept what she said about my shoes. Except is a preposition that means excluding or but. For example, all of your conditions except this one, but not this one. I like everything about her except the way your face looks. I like everything about you except the way your face looks. Affect and effect. Effect is a verb that means to influence. Can one person affect the course of human history? Or it only takes one photo to affect all of Facebook. Effect is a noun that means a result or consequence of something. For example, the effects of the medication could be immediate could be immediate or many drugs have bad second bad second effects capital and capital capital is a noun that means financial resources the money you have from your business for example I need a large capital to start a new business. Or, he had such a small capital that the bank rejected his business idea. Capital is a noun for the building or buildings where a government meets. For example, large amounts of capital are needed to finance the reconstruction of the nation's capital or there is a large capital building in Brussels. Be careful. Capital is also a noun or adjective commonly used to describe the most important city in a country or region. For example, Cairo, London and Paris are all capital cities. 
Capital can also be an adjective that means very, very serious. For example, most people oppose capital punishment. Respectably or respectively. Respectably is an adverb that means in a manner worthy of esteem or respect, in a way that should have a lot of respect. Jim is respectably skilled for his age. So Jim is worthy of respect because he is very skilled. He is respectably the best technician I know. Respectively is an adverb that refers to an item in a series and means in the order named. For example, John, Tom and Michael, respectively, will present their reports to the committee. Basis and basis. Basis is a singular noun that means the thing that supports something, especially an, in an argument. For example, there was no basis for his argument. There is no basis for his argument. Or, they started with a good basis for needing a new car. Bases is the plural of base, a noun that means the bottom of something, the part that provides support for something. For example, the plates had different bases. Look at the bases of these vases. The difference is that basis refers to an intangible thing, something that you cannot touch, like ideas or arguments, while base refers to a physical thing, like tables or buildings. The base of the lamp was round and blue. Desert and dessert. Desert is a noun that means a large area of land that has very little water and very few plants growing in it. For example, the story took place in the desert. The story is in the desert. He went to the Saudi desert. Dessert, of course, is a noun that means any sweet food eaten at the end of a meal. For example, I always eat ice cream for dessert. Or children love to eat dessert. Principle and principle. Principle is an adjective that means most important or influential. Our manager's principal concern is our work productivity. His main most important. What is the principal purpose of your research? What is the most important purpose, the main purpose? Principle is a noun that means a fundamental rule, a belief or truth. For example, your actions should be consistent with your principles. We don't have the same principles. A tale and tale. Tale is a noun that means a story often one that is easy to read or understand. For example, this is not a tale to be told when the children are here. Or it was a long but interesting tale he told last night. Tale is a noun that means the movable part at the end of the body of a bird or an animal or a fish. For example, Dogs wag their tails when they are happy or 
Many animals have tails. Personnel and personal. Personnel is a noun that means the people employed in an organization, the staff. You need to ask the personnel department about it. Or Google must have one very large personnel. Personal is an adjective that means belonging to a person rather than to a group or an organization. It belongs to one person or it's not part of a person's public or professional life. It is private. For example, this is for your personal use only, only for you. Or this is my personal mobile phone. Weather and weather. Weather is the temperature and the climate. For example, talking about the weather as a way for good small talk is clear. The weather is fantastic today. Weather means if, for example, I wanted to know whether you would cooperate. I wanted to know if you would cooperate. He asked him whether he liked it or not. He asked him if he liked it or not. Now we're going to look at some most often misspelled words because spelling is difficult and sometimes it can be worse than a nightmare. Accidentally, for example, do you spell it like this, like this, or like this? Let's have a look at some of these words. Accidentally. It comes from accidental. As an adverb, it takes on the L-Y. Some people think the word from which it is formed is only accident. So, they would only put one L or forget about the other. Accidentally means occurring or happening unexpectedly, unintentionally, or by chance. For example, I accidentally broke your chair. Unintentionally, I didn't mean it. He accidentally stepped on my foot. Until has only one L. But till has two L's. The most common belief, people believe generally, that till is a shortened form of until. But you can see how this could have changed or grown up. But the truth is that till is the older word. It was recorded from the year 800, while it took another 400 years until for until, with one L, to appear in the language. The current position, what, what is now, is that until is the more common of the two words and is generally considered to be slightly more formal which is why it turns up more often in edited prose in text. It is also a little bit more likely to appear at the beginning of a sentence than the word till. But till is perfectly good English and the choice of whether to use it or not or to use until is often decided by the rhythm of the sentence. We have a few examples here. You need to wait till with two L's is it is ready. This is old English till with two L's. 
you need to wait until it is ready. This is a mix of the old and the modern. And you need to wait till with one L it is ready is the modern version of the old word. Rhythm is a real problem. It is a Greek word by its origin, so it also keeps an unusual spelling. It is a noun that means the movement or variation characterized by the regular current recurrence or alternation of different quantities or conditions. For example, the rhythm of the tides. The tides is when the water goes up and down in the sea. Questionnaire is a French word which is clear from its spelling. French words always make it difficult for all of us. Questionnaire is a noun. It means a form containing a set of questions, especially one addressed to a statistic statistically significant number of people or subjects for getting information for a survey. For example, can you fill in this questionnaire? Or, I hate questionnaires. Liaison is a noun. It is an instance or means of communication between different groups or units of an organization. It is a way of communication. Occasion is a noun, an event or happening, something that happened in an incident. For example, uh, it was a great occasion. Also, it is the time at which an event occurs. For example, it was the perfect occasion to eat an ice cream. He must buy what he has while little occasion for, when he, what he has little time for. Possession. Possession possesses quite a lot of S's, doesn't it? Possession is a noun. It means the act or fact of possessing, owning something. The state of being possessed. Possessed means that your spirit is taken over by something. For example, the land is in my possession. I own it. Or I am in possession of this property. I, I own it belongs to me. Millennium also has some doubled letters. Millennium. It is a span of 1,000 years. 1,000 years is a millennium. It is also a thousand year period of holiness mentioned in Revelations 20, during which Jesus and his faithful followers are to rule on earth. We can use this sentence, for example, I celebrated the millennium. I celebrated the millennium with my family. For example, There are also more words like this, for example, accommodate, double C, double M. It is a verb, a transient, transient verb. It means to do a favor or service for or oblige. You can also look at the synonym oblige. 
It also means to adapt yourself to become adjusted. For example, it is never easy to accommodate the social changes to adapt or an economic proposal that accommodates the interest of senior citizens that allows, that considers. Drunkenness is an adjective. It means delirious with or as if with strong drink, intoxicated, alcohol. Embarrass is to cause someone to feel self-conscious, thinking about themselves or they're not comfortable. For example, meeting adults embarrassed the, chi the shy child. Occurrence is a noun. It is the action or fact of or instance of occurring when, when something happens. For example, it was a very strange occurrence, a very strange happening. Or it keeps occurring, it keeps happening. Argument is the verb argue, but it also forms a noun and the final E somehow disappears. It's just silent. For example, a discussion in which disagreement is expressed or a debate. For example, Shields their words they sheathed their words for a lack of argument. It means they rejected. or presented a careful argument for extraterrestrial life or you and love are still my argument noticeable shows that sometimes the final e is not dropped sometimes it stays for example adjective the evident observable, observable, you can see it. For example, noticeable changes in the temperature or a noticeable lack of friendliness, you can see it. Changeable is an adjective, it means something that is able to change or be changed. For example, changeable weather, it can change. Consensus is also not easy and it is an adverb. Its adverb consensuously would easily make it into the top 10 troublesome words to spell. Difficult. Maintenance is a typical spell twister. It's complicated to spell. It's a noun. It is the act of maintaining or the state of being maintained. For example, a maintenance man, a man who keeps things maintained. Twelfth, which is the easy twelfth here, this is the easy version, has only one vowel for seven letters. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed and I will speak to you soon.